Ruby. Ruby's in third grade. We're going to walk you through Read Better, Be Better's Family Literacy Guide today. And I have that guide right here, front and back. This is the English version. You can print this from our website, readbetterbebetter.org. Um, Read Better's mission is to help children improve their literacy skills and become better learners. And this guide will help us do that. Ruby and I have chosen a quiet, quiet time in our home to practice using our guide. Um, there's not many distractions. We're going to do this every day around the same time. Um, and with that being said, let's get started. We have gathered all of our materials. So we have our guide, we have our pencil and sticky notes, and of course, what else do we need? A book. A book. Okay. So we have chosen Ellie by Mike Wu really good book. Um, to use on for our family literacy guide. Step one is start with a conversation. I'm going to start by asking my reader one of these questions to engage and motivate them. Um, what about the book made you choose it? What does the cover picture tell you about the book? And what do you think is going to happen in the book? These are just a few examples of starting a conversation. Um, it's important to talk as much as you can when you're looking at a book um, to really get those comprehension skills up. Okay, so that's why we do that first step is just talking with your child, um, your reader in the home. Okay, so Ruby, why did you choose this book? Because... It's a really good book, and I wanted to show lots of people. Okay, cool. Now, who's on the cover? A little elephant. An elephant. And she looks like it's going to paint a picture. And she looks like she's going to paint a picture? Awesome. So, what do you think is going to happen with a paintbrush? She's going to paint lots of Good guess, that's wonderful. So on our guide, it says step two is read the story aloud to your reader. So I'm going to read. Um, it says on here, reading, allows, um, reading aloud stimulates regions of the brain to improve vocabulary, comprehension, language, fluency, and focus. You need to show your reader how to phrase the sentences. For example, are you pausing at the end of every sentence? Are you reading clearly? Are you reading too fast? Make the story come alive. Read with enthusiasm. So by me setting the example here, I'm teaching my, my reader um, how to read a book, okay? Because everything takes practice. So I am going to pause at the, end of, at the end of every sentence. I'm going to read clearly, and I'm not going to read too fast. Okay, so we'll get started. It is a sad day, he said. The zoo is closing. The animals were heartbroken. There must be something we can do, Ellie whispered to her friends. The zoo is our home. And on a bright spring day, with crowds cheering him on, Walt declared, We are open for good. Thanks to Ellie. The end. Step three is ask a reflection question. So I'm going to have another brief conversation with my reader about the story. We're gonna ask one of the questions below to help transition to the next step of the process. So again, it's important to have conversations throughout the reading process, um, talking about the book, 
really brings home comprehension skills and just allows the student to make those connections and, and to really understand what's going on in the book. So that's why step three is very important. Um, here are some questions that we could ask is, what did or did you not like about the story? How did the story make you feel? Why? Was the story what you expected? Explain. Was the story, what was the story mostly about? So, what, did you want to talk about how the story made you feel? Yeah. It made me feel like... If you... If you don't... If you don't have a talent, you just see something you can do. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a talent, you can find something that you're good at, right? Cool. Awesome, Ruby. Um, thanks for talking to me. So now we are going to flip over the guide. We're on step four, okay? And this is where our pencil and sticky notes come into play. So step four is say it, scribble it, and stick it. So I'm going to read the story again, and as you read, take turns writing down any thoughts on post-it notes. Thoughts can be about how it makes you feel, if the character reminds you of someone, or if the story sparks a question. Okay, so step one is say it, share your thoughts with each other. Step two is scribble it, write down any thoughts on your sticky note. And step three is stick it, and we'll place the sticky note onto the page. Okay, and there's a tip on the guide. It says try to share a reflection on every other page. That's your goal is every other page is to have a sticky note. Um, you can reduce the amount you share as your reader becomes more confident and shares more of their own. And this is important because when you write things down, it really makes your brain really, you know, understand and remember that part of the story. So on the guide, it says reading is thinking. Your reader should not only be listening to the story, but engaging with and experiencing the story. It's important that these thoughts are said aloud, say it, for the reader to hear, written down, scribble it, for them to see, and then placed on the book, stick it, for them to make the connections between their thoughts and the story. So that when you write something down, it, it really just full circles that thought and really just hammers the home the message about what's going on in the book. So that's why that stuff is important. Um, there's three areas that we focus on. Um, and one is comprehension, making connections, and asking questions. So when you comprehend something, your sentence starter might be, I'm thinking or I learned, or it's funny how. So when you comprehend something, that's how your sentence might start. Um, when you're making a connection, uh, it's how does your story relate to the, how does your reader relate to the story? Does your reader have a personal experience with the story? So a sentence starters might be, this reminds me of, I remember, or I know. So when you make connections between your, the book and yourself, Again, that's another way to comprehend books better and to understand what's going on. Having those connections between the outside world and your inside world. Um, and the last one is asking questions. Are there any confusing parts of the story? So sentence starters here might be, I'm confused about, or I wonder why, or what? So those are your question starters, okay? Do you have an idea for a sticky note? Mm -hmm. So first, let's hear it. So you say it. The animals are heartbroken because the thing is clothing and that's their home. Sure. Awesome. She's finished. Now she's going to stick, stick it. it. You want to read it out loud to us? Mm -hmm. It's a sad day because the zoo is closing in. This is the animal's home. Right. Nice, Ruby. 
We did it. Awesome. That leads us to step five, our conclusion, our final step. Um, we're gonna end this time with your reader by providing them with two points of positive feedback. Um, you could talk about things like how was their engagement and their attitude, and how did your reader show their understanding about the story. So this step is very important as well um, because receiving feedback is important to the reader. Providing them with clear and immediate direction will help your reader to know what to do to improve on the next time they read and improve your reader's confidence and enjoyment of learning. Some of our favorites include, I had such a fun time sharing reading this book with you. I appreciate you opening up and sharing your ideas. Or I was impressed by the way you blank, be specific. For example, read with enthusiasm. Okay, so Ruby, I loved how you had that connection with Ellie that you like to paint and that she likes to paint and that you guys have that in common, right? Mm -hmm. And I also am glad that you sat here the whole time and you're smiling and looking at all the pictures and I enjoy spending this time with you while we read together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you can see, it really makes them very happy and engaged and confident um, in reading and it really encourages reading more. Happy reading and thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys! Bye!